so this next travel story is my transition to the next group of people I was going to be traveling with. So whilst I was traveling the East Coast, these guys were on the West Coast, you know. So they were going to fly from LA, I want to say, and we were going to go to Nashville. So I was going from New York to Nashville, they were going from LA to Nashville. Now, the main difference was these guys chose to fly with Spirit and I chose to fly with American Airlines. <laughs> so obviously, what ended up happening was my flight from New York to Charlotte got delayed. So I was like, okay, this isn't a good start because this is a connecting flight because the Charlotte to Nashville flight was literally like, like the, turn the turnaround was very quick. I think it was like less than an hour, maybe like half an hour or so. So I was like, okay, this isn't good. And it kept getting delayed more and more and more. And I was like, damn. So I ended up getting on the plane, fl flew off. So whilst I was on the flight, I ended up getting rebooked for the Charlotte to Nashville flight before I even got there. Cause I'm, I'm guessing they looked at the numbers and were like, yeah, you're not gonna make it. Book you onto the next one. But the next one would have been on the next day. Cause I'm literally flying at like 9 PM already. So I was like, okay. I get to Charlotte, I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Because the weird thing was, I got there, but we got there a bit earlier than anticipated. So the flight from Charlotte to Nashville was right there. So I was like, can't I just go on it? Like I have a plane ticket, but they canceled it, so I couldn't go. I was like, what the hell? Why would you guys do this? But I ended up speaking to the people there and they were like, yeah, here you go. Here's some taxi vouchers, hotel voucher and some food vouchers. So I ended up getting into a taxi, went to a hotel, stayed there, slept there. Beautiful hotel, by the way. Probably the nicest place I stayed in America, period. Like, it was nice. I was mad I didn't get to stay that longer. But yeah, I was there, went back to the airport, got on the next flight the day after. And then here's where things went left. So we get to Nashville now. Cool, I'm liking it. It's a different vibe. You know, the accents are sounding a little bit different bit more south and more southern. And I was like, okay, cool. So I go, oh, actually, wait, I didn't even say. So the other people I was gonna be traveling with, the guys that are flying from LA, their spirit flight got canceled. It's not even delayed, just straight up canceled. And they literally couldn't get in contact with them to get information about, you know, what, what's gonna happen next. So they had to sort out everything by themselves, book a new flight, whatever. So yeah, if you're planning on traveling with spirit, do so at your own risk. That's just what I'm gonna say. But yeah, so that happened. So they are not in Nashville yet. So I'm there by myself and I go to the place that we had booked in advance. Now I'll go there and they're like, oh yeah, we've canceled your booking. Like you guys were supposed to come yesterday. And I was like, oh, but like our planes got <laughs> delayed and stuff. So you know, we couldn't really do anything. They're like, okay, you, you got canceled. Like we have no more space. So, you know, bye. I was like, oh, like that, fair enough. You have no more space even though you just canceled yesterday. Fair enough. You know, I'm, I wasn't there to argue. I'm, this is my holiday, whatever. So cool, I get on call with the boys. I'm like, yo, what should we do? Like, you know, what, what, what go on? And then obviously we um, arranged a different place. Cool, got Uber there, signed in, everything was great. So. End up staying at this motel. You know, it was pretty nice, pretty nice. Nashville, good vibes. So I'm there, just waiting for them. They end up turning up. This is when I decided to take my hair out, which, my goodness me. That was a long process. Telling you that took me, genuinely, I'm not even capping, that took me like six hours, maybe even more. Like that was just hell. That was a little story of how we, we got to Nashville. But Nashville's great though. I would recommend that place. That place is just, I just, there's just some parts of America, yeah, the warmth is just unlike anything I've ever experienced. I always say this, but like, how can I open the door outside and warm air hits me at 4 a.m.? That would never make sense to me. Like, it's 4 a.m., I'm warm outside, and I step into the house and it's cool air. It's mind-boggling. It's truly mind-boggling, but... It was, it was great, it was a great trip. This is just a quick one. This is not really even a story. Whilst I was in DC for the second time with obviously the next group of people, we were staying in this hotel and I kid you not, we went out, did whatever, you know, saw some places. And as we came back, the road to our hotel was literally cordoned off, police cars everywhere. Hey yo. 
Them man locked off the whole strip. And we're just like, what's going on, man? This is, this is a bit strange. This is literally in the middle of DC, like just on a random day. So obviously get back, get into the hotel, cool. And obviously, you know, as a normal human being would do, you, you know, you check the news. And what do we see? A murderer is on the loose in our area. Where our hotel was, there was a murderer on the loose. I'm not even making this up. Like, I was like, what? Like, right now? And we were just there like, what the hell? Like, what the actual hell? So yeah, that was, that was interesting, for sure. That's, I think that's one word to use for that situation. Okay, this last story was towards the very end of my travels and probably the closest I came to literally dying getting kidnapped or worse. I've just been to New York again and I'm on my way from New York to a place called Newark. You know, it sounds pretty cool, right? Newark, you know, it sounds new, sounds cool, nice. So I'm, first of all, I'm struggling to even find my way to get there. I'm at this bus station trying to figure out which bus to take. <sighs> and then I get approached by this crack it and he starts you know he he just kind of starts talking to me i was talking to him and he was like oh yeah let me help you with you know there's this like machine where you buy the tickets from and he's like yeah let me help you where you going okay yeah yeah let me okay let me do that for you cool okay yep yeah. and then he was like oh yeah now, now you gotta pay now you, now you gotta pay i was like okay thanks and i was thinking okay thanks you've, you've helped me now like why are you still standing right next to me? <laughs> You're standing very close. <laughs> okay, cool, whatever, let me pay for my ticket. He's like, oh, let me have let me have five. I was like, huh? What, what did he say? Like, let me have five. I was like, oh, oh, oh you mean five dollars? He's like, yeah, yeah no, no, let me have 10, let me have 10. I was like, okay, let's, let's calm down right now. But obviously in this position, I was like, this guy has just helped me buy the tickets, saw me pay with the cash. I have what 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 can I do? I, I'm gonna have to give him some. So I was like, okay, here, here you go, have five. He's like, just five? I was like, yeah. He's like, whatever, man. I was like, this place isn't real. This place is not real. But you know, whatever. Now, we've got a bus, at least. I'm gonna mention this in another video, but don't travel without an American SIM card. You ain't gonna need that. I'm gonna go into more detail on that video, but let's just say it really held me back in this very moment. So obviously I didn't have any data. Cool. Taking the bus now. I've gotten off at the stop where I need to get off. It is dark and I'm just in a random neighborhood somewhere in New York and it looks dodgy as hell. There's a guy over there screaming at the bus stop. I'm supposed to be waiting at, screaming to himself random things i'm just like what is going on now i'm waiting for my bus and the time that my bus was supposed to come and the time it is now it's not it's not adding up i've been waiting here for like 20 minutes and there's no bus and my brain started going to this spongebob episode where he's like underground and it's dark and it's like dodgy spooky and he's waiting for the bus and whenever he leaves to do something his bus comes and when he tries to go to get the bus, the bus just leaves. I'm not leaving this spot no matter what. I'll only be gone a second. Hey! Oh! That's what was playing in my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to just wait and stick it out. Like, the bus will come, the bus will come. As soon as I try and leave, the bus will come and I'll miss it. So let me not leave. But the more I'm staying here, the longer it's taking, the more I'm getting like, my heart's beating. Because I can't get Uber. I can't get in contact with anyone. I can't text anyone. There's no Wi-Fi. I can't message. I can't Snapchat. I can't WhatsApp. It's just me, my bags against the world. So I'm, my heart is beating. I'm looking around like, yo, if no bus comes, I'm stranded here in the middle of nowhere. And it's not even like I can see a hotel or anything, no, it's just shops that are closed. I'm like, bro, this is not real. What houses my life right now? Eventually, <laughs> thank the Lord. Eventually this bus comes, get on it. I'm just like, 
Yeah, bro, I'm literally like, why am I shaking? I'm trying to put money in the thing while my hands are shaking, bro. And the woman's just like, get on, man. I was like, thank, thank you so much. I was like, bro, what's going on? And so the bus is driving. And luckily, Google Maps, even when you don't have, like, data, it shows you a little, the circle of where you are on the map. So I was just following the circle to try and, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm nearly there. So it's taking the route as it should. You know, the bus is going the way it should. Then it takes a detour. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm like, no, 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 no. Why are you going this way? You're supposed to, the map's saying this way. Why are you, oh my goodness. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Should I get off now? Or should, what, what, where's it gonna go? What if it takes me like further away? And, uh, spiraling, my mind is just, whatever. End up getting kind of close to the area. So I just get out, I'm like, yeah, let me, this is close enough. So then I start walking in the dark by myself with my bags towards this place where a couple of my friends were staying in New York, right? I'm seeing dodgy guys, you know, just on the street, walking around, looking at me. I'm like, hell no, hell no. Like, I can't do anything. I have to get to my friends, otherwise, that's it. So luckily, right, I ended up getting there and there was like free Wi-Fi in the building because I couldn't even text them to let them know I was there because I can't text and I have no Wi-Fi. But lucky at the bottom of the building, I had like a little connection of Wi-Fi. I connected, I was like, yo guys, come grab me, please. And then they came and grabbed me and everything was great. But yeah, my goodness, please do not travel without a SIM card where you can do stuff. I made a big mistake with that. But we learned from our mistakes. And I make these mistakes, so you don't have to. Well, that was a whole lot of stories. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, enjoyed a couple stories that I told you. Hopefully you take some lessons away from the mistakes I made along the journey. And yeah, let me know if you wanna see any other kind of videos. Let me know if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And I'ma catch you in the next one. Peace.